Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a short tutorial on how to get keyboard strokes and mouse clicks to be shown on your screen somewhere around here. This is very useful for people making YouTube tutorial videos or anything similar. So let's get started. The first thing we do is download a small program called Show Off. Now this kind of a thing is especially useful when you don't want to pay for some software or when you just quickly want to make a video but you also want to show your users what buttons you're pressing all right so we download this open the zip file open this folder now you might want to try to run from here but it might cause problems with the app so instead of that we're gonna click cancel we're gonna select all copy them I'm just gonna go to the C drive you can make it any way you want paste it all inside this and we can run the app now all right as you can see you can drag this and move anywhere you want it to be so that it doesn't block anything else which you're working on so I'm pressing the left mouse button and it shows that I'm pressing shift a and it shows that X C any any key will show all of them so now that we got this up and running we can also customize it go to settings now I want this you can ignore this part because this means it's been commented out the semicolon over here this is where it all starts so I want to make this I want to make the background black so I just copy this hex code for black I don't want to do this again so I paste it here and I copy white I just cut it and I paste it over here so now this is black background color and white font save this close and restart the application and you will see your changes on the screen all right here we go all keystrokes on the video all right and also I would like to tell you a few more optimizations in case you're using OBS for screen recording like I do. So the first thing you want to do if you want to get more clarity in your audio from a mic, let's say you're using a laptop, just go to audio and settings, click on sample rate. You want to make sure this is 48 kilohertz and not 44. Make it 48, make sure the channels are stereo. Make sure your audio device is selected. For my case, it's default. Apply, now go to advanced. And you wanna make sure that disable Windows audio ducking is enabled. After you've done all this, you wanna restart OBS. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna restart it. Now you wanna to go to the gear icon over here for mic. And then go to filters and your filters you want to add two new ones if it's empty over here one is noise gate and the other is noise suppression now the settings for noise gate can differ for your mic you can copy mine and experiment this is this can be a starting point for you and it could be different for your mic for me these settings work pretty good as of suppression i recommend you to keep it at 24 minus 24 decibels anything too much and your voice will sound strange so you, you want to keep this 24 and you can still experiment with these two settings you won't have any disturbances in your audio anymore all right please like subscribe and comment on my channel if you like this video and if you have any questions please again write that on the comment and i'll try to answer as soon as i can goodbye